Who are you? Show yourself! <laughs> You will become a stranger. My power is yours now. You will defeat all the gods! What? What are you doing? Daishika! Daishika son! No! <laughs> I was waiting for you, Son Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> this bastard is very strong! <laughs> Come on, kid! Unleash your fury! <laughs> Get ready for your end, Whis. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Beerus! It looks like you will finally come after Xenosama. Are you ready? 
and was born ready to fight! Control of your power, boy. For good or for evil. <laughs> we'll see. Coming. <laughs>
Son Goku. Let him go, Zakai. <laughs> As you wish. are a disgrace. What? My not! Wait. This vision of the future. It's not possible. What kind of power is this? It's even greater than that of some god. <laughs> That's impossible. Damn. I'm weak. I lost too much energy against the army of the Mother of Angels. This is your end, Son Goku! <laughs> Wait! What is this? Hey, you won! Leave Kakarot where he is! You will be my opponent! The Great Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans! <laughs> You're all weak, insolent worms. Is that all you've got, Vegeta? <laughs> you wretch, you're going to pay. Do you really think your body is unharmed? <laughs> anymore it seems you weren't that powerful Go 
going to do that! Vegeta! This miserable guy managed to escape after everything! What? What monstrous energy is this? <laughs> Finally! I, the mother of angels, am free! Finally, I, Frieza Hakaishin, am here. <laughs> hmm. Show your power by devastating this universe. Damn it! Right now, another attack! Frieza, you damn thing! You allied yourself with them! <laughs> Take this, you miserable, mediocre Saiyan! <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! What? What is this? Control your anger. You are the strongest. Thank you, King Satana. <laughs>
You didn't say please! You can destroy planets, but you can never destroy what I am, friend. I am the hope of the universe! I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth. so much since the last time. What will he show? Done, Son Goku. The Daishikun has come. <clears throat> Did you come this far to face the gods? I have my purposes, and that ends now. I confess this will be interesting. <clears throat> <clears throat> that energy! Goku has changed so much since the last time. What will he show? <laughs> Daishikun is among the five most powerful in the universes. I count on you, Goku. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing, Son Goku. <laughs> that guy! You know very well that you don't stand a chance, and yet you still fight. Come on, then. Come on, Son Goku. <laughs> Those cheap tricks won't work on me! Now I can see everything! I've trained long enough to be able to feel the energy of angels! <laughs> Try to hit me if you can, Son Goku. <laughs> That's it! I can see! What? Take this! <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. Uh, you 
our amazing son Goku. Oh! Daishi Khan! Are you going to do it here? Oh! <laughs> it has been a long time since I last used that power. <laughs> My true form. The true father of angels. Oh! Daishikan! How amazing! Oh! I still need to get used to it. I haven't used this transformation for millennia. You are worthy, Son Goku. Shall we go to the second round? Oh! Now it's all over. Goku! What are you going to do? <laughs> he truly recognized me as worthy of his real power. Is Son Goku ready? Or are you afraid? <clears throat> that form gives me chills! But it won't flinch. <clears throat> <laughs> If you don't attack me, I will. Now it's all or nothing! Now that's annoying. You're really not coming. So I'll go! Come on, Son Goku! <laughs> hey, I am Gakui, and the show starts now. This is Absolute Cinema! As Goku closed his eyes and focused, the celestial energy surged within him, resonating with his very being. The air around him crackled with anticipation as his aura began to shift. His body became enveloped in a brilliant azure glow, and his hair took on the ethereal hue of Ultra Instinct. Daishikan observed with keen interest as Goku's transformation unfolded. The intense power radiating from Goku was unlike anything he had ever witnessed before. Well done, Goku! You have achieved the pinnacle of mastery over Angelic Ki. This form is a testament to your dedication and strength. Thank you, Daishikan. I'm grateful for your guidance. Now, Goku, with this power, you possess the means to face even the most formidable adversaries. But remember, true strength lies not only in power, but in wisdom and compassion. I understand. I'll use this power to protect everyone. Daishikan observed Goku's progress with a sense of satisfaction. He knew that Goku's journey was far from over, but with the power of Angelic Ki at his disposal, Goku was prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As Goku felt a surge of energy coursing through him, he marveled at the incredible power he had attained. The celestial energy pulsated around him, filling him with a sense of profound strength and purpose. Whoa, this power is incredible! As he glanced down at his hands, he was taken aback. Whoa, what's happening to me? My skin! This is the true power of Angelic Ki, Goku. Your body has harmonized with the energy of the gods. Embrace it. <clears throat> okay. I can do this. I can do this. 
I'll master this power and become even stronger! With each passing moment, Gonka grew accustomed to the celestial energy coursing through his veins. The sensation was exhilarating, empowering him with like never before. As Gonku continued his training under Daishikan's guidance, the celestial realm echoed with the sounds of his newfound power. With his skin aglow and his spirit renewed, Gonku's journey to harness the power of a god killer had truly begun. As Gohan traversed the ominous landscape of the Makai realm, he suddenly halted, his senses tingling with a familiar surge of energy that felt like a beacon in the darkness. Closing his eyes, he focused intently trying to pinpoint the source of this extraordinary power. <laughs> it can't be! Father? Gohan muttered to himself. The sensation was unmistakable, a radiant energy that seemed to cut through the shadows of the Makai realm. Despite the distance spanning countless light years away, Gohan could sense Goku's presence as if they were standing side by side. The intensity of Goku's felt like a different, now heightened refined and pulsating with a celestial aura. Wow, Dad. What have you gotten yourself into this time? With renewed determination, Gohan continued his quest through the treacherous realm, each step fueled by the knowledge that his father was out there, pushing the boundaries of power in ways that even Gohan couldn't fully comprehend. Unbeknownst to Gohan, the celestial energy he sensed from afar was just the beginning of Goku's transformative journey, a path that would lead them both to confrontation beyond the mortal realm and challenges that would test the very fabric of their existence. But for now, as Gohan pressed forward to the realm of the Makai, he carried with him the assurance that Goku's boundless spirit was alive and blazing with newfound vigor. As Gohan ventured deeper into the foreboding reaches of the Makai realm, a distant whisper echoed in his mind. A voice that seemed to emanate from the very essence of Akumo, the primal force residing within him. It was a cryptic reminder of the challenges ahead, urging Gohan to surpass his father's prodigious abilities and master the ancient essence that coursed through his veins. You seek strength, Gohan. But your current path will not suffice. To rival your father, you must transcend mortal limitations and embrace the ancestral power that stirs within. <laughs> but how? Gohan murmured. What must I do to master this... this essence? The response was a haunting silence, the shadows whispering their enigmatic secrets as Gohan pressed onward. With every step, the weight of his destiny bore down upon him, a destiny intertwined with the legacies of his father and the primal forces that awaited their awakening. As Weiss and Beerus observed from the tranquil expanse of Beerus' planet, a subtle shift in the cosmic energies rippled through across the cosmos. Whis, with his ever-perceptive gaze, noted the change and turned to the contemplative deity beside him. It appears to have begun, Lord Beerus. You mean, Goku has achieved a new pinnacle? Indeed. The signs are unmistakable. His ki has ascended to a level that rivals the divine. <laughs> well, well. Seems our Saiyan friend never ceases to surprise. Shall we pay him a visit, my lord? Very well, Whis. <laughs> Let's see just how far he's come. With one snap, Whis conjured a shimmering portal that enveloped their both, transporting them across the vast reaches of space towards the radiant aura that marked Goku's transcendence. As they traversed the cosmic currents, Beerus couldn't help but wonder what sort of challenge awaited them in the wake of Goku's evolution. Meanwhile, on Beerus' planet, Goku's aura pulsed with celestial vigor, the azure hue of his ki casting an ethereal glow. His concentration was absolute as he delved deeper into the mysteries of the angelic energy he now wielded. As the portal materialized before them, Beerus and we stepped onto the threshold of Goku's training, their presence heralded by a ripple of anticipation. Goku, sensing their arrival, turned to greet them with a knowing smile. Beerus, Whis! 
I made some incredible breakthroughs! So this is what all the fuss is about, eh? Beerus regarded Goku. With a mix of amusement and curiosity. I've been learning to channel the energy of the angels! It's like nothing I've ever felt before! Ah, oh, you've tapped into a profound source, Goku. But remember, with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility! That's right. Alright, enough chatter. Show us what you've got, Goku. With a focused nod, Goku assumed a poised stance. His eyes blazing with determination, the air around him crackled with latent energy. A testament to the boundless potential he now possessed. As Beerus and Whis observed, Goku unleashed a flurry of movements that defied mortal comprehension, his body moving with the grace of a celestial dancer. Each strike carried the weight of his newfound might, a testament to his unwavering resolve. Beerus, his gaze fixed upon Goku's display, couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement. Well, Goku, let's see if you're truly worthy of this supreme status. Beerus. His eyes, narrowing with intrigue, felt a surge of anticipation as he beheld Goku's celestial display. The Saiyan's azure aura pulsed with an intensity that resonated through the cosmos, catching even Beerus off guard. Hmm, it's been ages since I've felt energy like this. Certainly reminiscent of a true god killer. I've been working hard to harness this power, Lord Beerus. Goku has stepped into a unique source of energy, my lord. One that bridges the mortal and divine realms. <laughs> Very well, Goku. Let's see if you can handle the true test. With a flick of his wrist, Beerus propelled himself forward, his own ki igniting in response to Goku's challenge. The clash of their energies reverberated across the celestial expanse, a testament to the sheer magnitude of their power. As Goku and Beerus sparred, Whis watched with a knowing smile, the cosmic ballet of their battle unfolding before him. The training ground of Beerus' planet became a crucible of divine might, with Goku pushing himself to the nil limits under the watchful eye of the God of Destruction. Hours passed like fleeting moments as Goku and Beerus exchanged blows, each strike resonating with the weight of their respective destinies. The air crackled with the intensity of their combat, a symphony of raw power and unyielding determination. Finally, with a resounding clash, Goku and Beerus came to a momentary standstill, their energies intermingling in a dazzling display of cosmic prowess. Beerus, his expression inscrutable, regarded Goku with newfound respect. You've come a long way, Goku. But remember, power alone doesn't make a god killer. I understand, Lord Beerus. I'll continue to push myself to become even stronger. Indeed, Goku. The path to mastery is paved with diligence and discipline. The echoes of their battles subsided. Goku and Beerus exchanged a nod of mutual understanding. The celestial energies around them settled, leaving behind a lingering sense of possibility. Goku glimpsed in a fleeting moment the boundless potential that lay ahead. A journey towards greatness that transcended mortal and divine boundaries alike. Goku stood within the sanctum of Daishikun's palace. The lingering echoes of his celestial transformation still resonated within him. The azure hue of his ki had subsided, yet a newfound sense of purpose burned brightly in his eyes. It appears that your training has reached at its initial conclusion, Goku. Thank you, Daishikun. I've learned more than I ever imagined. <laughs> you have tapped into the essence of Angelic Ki, a power that few mortals can comprehend. But remember, Goku, true strength lies not only in power, but in the mastery of oneself. <laughs> How many times I heard that? I'll continue to push myself to become stronger and more disciplined. Good. Now, return to your world, Goku. Your son, Gohan still has challenges of his own to face. Meanwhile, in the depths of the Makai realm, Gohan continued his quest, his determination unyielding. With each step, he drew closer to the truth behind the disturbances of the timelines. Unaware of the cosmic forces at play, the destinies of father and son intertwine their destinies, their journeys converging amidst the vast tapestry of the universe. 
and as Gonku united with his loved ones, a silent resolve echoed within him. A resolve to embrace the challenges ahead no matter how daunting. Daishikan's words hung in the air, carrying in the weight of destiny. Goku listened intently, his resolve unwavering despite the gravity of the task ahead. Your final test awaits, Goku. With your newfound power, you are now recognized as the god killer of Universe 7. This news must reach all the gods of destruction across the universes. I understand, Daishikan. But what does it mean to be a god killer? To be a god killer is to transcend mortal limits and challenge divine beings. Daishikan's expression softened, revealing a hint of enigmatic wisdom. It is a title that signifies your ability to contend with the highest powers of the cosmos. Does this mean I'll have to fight the gods of destruction? <laughs> Not necessarily, Goku. Your role as a god killer is one of balance and harmony. Your power serves as a deterrent against the chaos, a safeguard for the cosmos. All right, now do whatever it takes, Daishikan. I won't let you down, and I won't let this power go to waste. Go now, Goku. Embrace your destiny and forge your path among the stars. The gods await news of the new god killer. Goku's expression flickered with a mix of concern and anticipation as Daishikan spoke. The weight of his new title settled heavily in his shoulders and he understood the gravity of the forthcoming announcement. Wait, Taishikan, won't the news upset the gods of destruction? I don't want to cause any trouble. <laughs> Fear not, Goku. Your role as a god killer is a necessary balance in the grand design of the cosmos. The gods of destruction will understand its significance. <laughs> I hope you're right, Daishikan. In the grand hall of Daishikan's palace, the divine atmosphere hummed with the expectations of the gods of destruction from across the multiverse assembled. Their expressions ranged from curiosity to cautious skepticism as they awaited Daishikan's announcement. Daishikan, flanked by Goku, stood at the center of the gathering. His presence commanded respect and reverence among the gods. Mighty gods of destruction, I have convened this assembly to relay important news regarding Universe 7. The gathered deities exchanged murmurs and speculative glances, their attention fully focused on Daishikan. In recent times, a mortal has ascended to the title of God Killer within Universe 7. Silence fell over. Daishikan announced, This mortal. Goku stood beside him, his demeanor resolute despite the tension in the air is none other than Son Goku. Whispers erupted among the gods of destruction, their reactions ranging from surprise to disbelief. Goku maintained his composure, bracing himself for the response. Eldo Daishikan! One of the gods spoke, his voice laced with skepticism. What does this mean for the balance of the cosmos? A mortal, a god killer? Goku's ascension signifies a new era, one where mortals can rise to challenge the divine. His power serves as a deterrent against chaos, ensuring the stability of Universe 7. <laughs> I understand the weight of this title. Don't you worry, gods. I will use my power responsibly to maintain balance. After a moment of contemplative silence, one of the gods nodded thoughtfully. If Daishikan deems this mortal worthy, then we shall respect this decision. The assembly concluded with a newfound understanding acknowledging Goku's role as a god killer of Universe 7. As the gods departed, Goku and Daishikan remained in the hall, the weight of their conversation settling into the fabric of cosmic order. For Goku, the journey as the god killer had just begun, a path fraught with challenges but also brimming with the potential to shape the fate of the universe. To be continued! Ah, how incredible this power is! So is this what angels can do? Hey, I am Gokui, and the show starts now! This is Absolute Cinema! Zamasu stood amidst the smoldering ruins of what was once a bustling city. His green skin glowed with an ethereal light as he surveyed the destruction with a satisfied smirk. <laughs> Finally, it is all ours. The Zero Mortal Plan lives! Beside him, Goku Black chuckled darkly, his eyes glinting with malice. 
<laughs> All those Saiyans turned to dust. Nothing can stop us now. It will be interesting to visit other universes, won't it? Partner. Wait. I sense a formidable energy from light years away. It's impossible, but it's there. In another corner of Universe 7, in a distant galaxy, Goku awoke with a start. His body felt different, charged with an overwhelming power that he couldn't comprehend. He looked around, confused, etched on his face. What? Where am I? What's happening to my body? The air around him shimmered with a cosmic energy, swirling and crackling with an intensity. Goku clenched his fist, feeling the raw power coursing through his veins. This energy... It's like nothing I've ever felt before. Suddenly, a voice echoed in his mind, calm and authority. Goku... You are the hope of this timeline. It was the voice of Daishikan, the Grand Priest, but from another timeline. <clears throat> what? Daishikan? What do you mean? What's happening? Goku, in this timeline, you were born with omnipotent power. The balance of the universe rests in your shoulders. <clears throat> what do you mean? Omnipotent? But why? And what happened to the other timelines? In your original timeline, Goku Black and Zamasu wrecked Havok. But they were eventually stopped. In this timeline, they succeeded in destroying most of Universe 7. The only hope for restoration lies with you, Goku. You must harness your power and stop them. <clears throat> Alright, Daishikan. I'll do whatever it takes to stop them. But I need to learn to control this power. Very well. Time is of the essence, but I will help you to unlock your full potential. For the next few days, Goku trained under Daishikun's guidance. He learned to channel his omnipotent power, mastering techniques that transcended mortal understanding. Each day, he grew stronger, his resolve solidifying with each passing moment. As Goku continued his training, he also explored the devastated remnants of Universe 7. He encountered survivors who told harrowing tales of Goku Black and Zamasu's atrocities. Each story fueled his determination to bring justice to his universe. He opened his eyes to see a vision of his friends and family, their faces filled with hope and trust. He was meditating in a desolate planet focusing on protecting his allies and his family. I won't let you down, he whispered to this vision, his resolve stronger than ever. Goku knew that his confrontation with Goku Black and Zamasu was inevitable, but he also understood the importance of gathering allies and resources. He traveled across the universe, seeking out those who could aid him in his quest. He found a group of resistance fighters, led by a warrior named Sorel, who had been battling Zamasu's forces in secret. We've been waiting for someone like you. Together we can stop him! Goku formed bonds with the fighters, each of whom had their own reasons for fighting. We're in this together, Goku said, his voice filled with conviction. As the resistance grew stronger, Goku knew that the final battle was approaching. He spent his day straining and strategizing, preparing for the inevitable clash with Goku Black and Zamasu. One evening, as he gazed at the stars, Daishikun appeared beside him. You have come a long way, Goku. But remember, this is only the beginning. You must be the survivor of this timeline. I understand, Daishikan. I will be ready. In the aftermath of his training and preparations, Gonku stood in the brink of a new era. He had become a symbol of hope and resilience, a beacon for those who had suffered under the tyranny of Goku Black and Zamasu. As he looked out into the vast expanse of space, 
Goku knew that the future of his universe rested in his hands. He would face Goku Black and Zamasu, but he would not be alone. He had allies, friends, and a power unlike any other. With a final nod of determination, Goku turned away from the stars, ready to embrace his destiny. For in this new timeline, he was not just a warrior, he was the omnipotent savior of all creation. And so, the story of Goku, the omnipotent savior, began, filled with hope, courage, and promise of a new dawn. Zamasu stood in the edge of the cosmic void, his eyes glowing with a malevolent light. The center of the universe holds the key to my full restoration. Once my powers are re-established, not even the gods will be able to stop me. Goku Black stood beside him, his expression a mixture of amusement and curiosity. While you do that, I will investigate this formidable energy we've sensed. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before. <laughs> do as you wish, Black. Just remember, we have a universe to conquer. <laughs> Don't ask me twice. Goku Black closed his eyes, extending his senses across the vast expanse of space. He felt a tremendous key, pulsating with an intensity that made his heart race. <laughs> so it is you, Son Goku! Somehow you're here. In a distant galaxy, Goku felt the disturbance. Hmm. It seems I've been noticed. So it's you, Black. Goku Black materialized before Goku, his dark aura contrasting sharply with Goku's celestial glow. Let's see. It seems you've grown much stronger somehow. This celestial energy... So my body is also capable of reaching such heights. I'm delighted to end all of this. <laughs> Without warning, Goku Black launched at Goku, his movements swift and deadly. But Goku, with newfound agility, dodged the attacks effortlessly. <clears throat> How? Goku stood firm, his gaze unwavering. I don't know what's happening to me, too. But I feel like this entire universe is a part of me, and you are not welcome in it! <laughs> then I'll have to force my way in! He attacked again, his blows faster and more ferocious. But Goku moved like a force of nature, evading each strike with precision. The ground beneath them trembled as their energies clashed, sending shockwaves rippling through the cosmos. As the battle raged on, Goku began to understand the depths of his new power. He could sense the very fabric of the universe, its energies flowing through him. <clears throat> this power, it's like nothing I've ever felt. Goku Black, however, was relentless. You think you can stop me with this newfound power? I'll show you the true might of a god! But Goku raised his hand, and with a mere thought, deflected the attack. You're not the only one who's evolved, Black. The two warriors clashed once again. Their energies intertwined in a dance of destruction and creation. Planets shook, stars flickered, and the very fabric of reality seems to tremble under their might. Black's frustration grew with each passing moment. This is impossible! You were never meant to wield such power! Hm, maybe not, but I'll use it to protect this universe from you! I will not be defeated by a mere mortal! You don't understand, Black. I'm not just a mortal anymore. I am the guardian of this universe! The shockwaves of their battles echoed across the cosmos, drawing the attention of beings far and wide. Those who could sense the fight were in awe, their minds struggling to comprehend the sheer scale of the power in display. As the two combatants clashed, Goku's mind raced. He could feel the universe itself guiding his movements, lending him strength and clarity. 
And this power... It's like... I'm one with the stars themselves. <clears> Hmm. <throat> Black, however, was not deterred. No matter how strong you've become, you're just an insect compared to me! Hmm. <clears throat> you can't win, Black. Not this time! Ah! The battle raged on, neither side willing to yield. Goku Black's attacks grew more erratic, his frustration evident. Why won't you fall? Goku's response was calm, almost serene. Because I have something worth fighting for, and I won't let you take it away! As they clashed once more, a sudden burst of energy sent them both flying away. Goku landed gracefully, his eyes locked on Black. This isn't over, Black, not by a long shot! <laughs> You've become something else, Goku. But it doesn't matter. I will destroy you! <clears throat> you can try, Black. But I will protect this universe with everything I have! The battle between Goku and Goku Black continued. Their powers clashing in a spectacle of cosmic proportions. Each strike, each dodge, and each explosion was a testament to their unyielding wills. Goku knew that the fight was far from over, but he also knew that he had the strength and determination to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As long as he stood, he would protect his universe and those he loved. And so, the Celestial Clash raged on, a battle that would determine the fate of the universe itself in the deepest reaches of the cosmos. At the very center of the universe, Zamasu floated in a meditative trance. The celestial energies around him swirled, drawn into his being as he sought to restore his godly powers. Oh. <laughs> It seems that eradicating all mortal energy from my universe takes a toll, even on someone like me. <laughs> After becoming a god of this universe, threats still attempt to interfere with my divine plan. <laughs> Not even Xenosama will be able to do anything against me. <laughs> <laughs> in the remains of a shattered planet, Goku and Goku Black were locked in a fierce battle. The ground beneath them crackled and splintered with each clash of their fists. Goku Black's expressions twisted into a gleeful grin as he transformed into his rosé form, his aura igniting with a dark rosé-colored flame. <laughs> Let's dance! This fight is getting more interesting by the second! I already told you, you can't beat me! With a roar, Goku's aura flared into a brilliant white light, merging with an ethereal omnipotent energy that radiated from every pore of his being. His ultra instinct form combined with his newfound omnipotence, creating a force that shook the very fabric of this universe. Uh, what? What is this power? Impossible! Is that the power of the angels? Hm. This is the end for you, Black. I won't let you harm anyone else. With a blinding speed, Goku attacked. His movements fluid and unpredictable. Each strike landed with devastating force, pushing Goku Black to his limits. Down beneath them shattered, and the sky above them seemed to crackle with energy. Goku Black fought back with all his might, his rosé four bumming with desperate fury. I won't be defeated by a mere mortal pretending to be a god! You don't understand, Black. This isn't my power. This... Is the universe itself rejecting you? Battle intensified, each clash of their power sending shockwaves through space. Nearby planets trembled and distant stars flickered under the strain of their confrontation. And as the battle raged on, Goku Black began to realize the true extent of Goku's power. It was a spectacle of pure, unbridled power. This 
This is not possible! How can you wield such power? I've become one with the universe, Black. And there's no place for you in it. With a sudden burst of energy, Goku closed the distance between them, landing a series of rapid, devastating blows. Goku Black staggered back, his confidence shattered. But I am a god! I cannot be defeated! God or not, you're no match for the combined might of the universe and Ultra Instinct! With a final roar, Goku Black charged at Goku, his energy focused into a singular, desperate attack. But Goku, with a calm, steady hand, deflected the attack with ease, sending Goku Black crashing to the ground. Goku Black struggled to his feet, his body trembling with exhaustion. <laughs> this isn't over, Goku. I will find a way to destroy you! <sighs> You can try, Black, but as long as I'm here, I will protect this universe from you. The ground beneath them shook as their energies flared once more, neither willing to yield. The battle between Goku and Goku Black was far from over. As their clash continued, the cosmos bore witness to the might of their struggle. Goku, now a beacon of celestial power, fought with the determination to protect all life. Goku Black, driven by his twisted sense of justice, fought with a ferocity born of desperation. The battle was a testament to their unyielding wills, a fight that would determine the fate of the universe itself. And though the end was not yet in sight, one thing was certain. The true strength of a warrior is not in his power alone but in his resolve to protect what he loves. And so, the celestial dance of destruction and creation continued, a battle that would echo through the annals of history. In the heart of a shattered planet, Goku and Black stood facing each other, their auras flaring with intense power, their air crackled with energy. The ground beneath them trembling with the force of their clashing spirits, Goku's new form radiated an ethereal light, causing the very fabric of reality to shudder. Goku Black's eyes widened in shock and awe. What power is this? Your body, it's filled with celestial energy! This ends now, Black. Goku charged the colossal Kamehameha with a primal scream, his hands glowing with an intense blue light. The energy beam shot forward, cutting through the air with a deafening roar. Goku Black, not to be outdone, gather his own dark energy and unleash a counter Kamehameha. The two beams collided in mid-air, creating a massive explosion that shook the entire planet. The shockwave rippled across the cosmos, causing stars to flicker and planets to tremble. <laughs> what is happening? How did he gain all this power? <laughs> You can't win, Black! This is the power of the universe itself! The struggle between the two Kamehamehas continued. The energy tearing at the very fabric of space. Goku's power began to surge, his omnipotent energy overwhelming Black's dark aura. <laughs> no! This can't be happening! <laughs> With a final earth-shattering push, Goku's Kamehameha broke through Black's engulfing him in a blinding explosion of light. The impact sent shockwaves through the universe, shaking even the most distant cosmic entities. Throughout the cosmos, celestial beings and deities felt the tremor of Goku's power. In the highest realms, gods and cosmic entities paused, their eyes widening in disbelief. What? What is this power? Such omnipotence, it's beyond comprehension. Even the Supreme Kai and the Gods of Destruction felt the disturbance. Their usually composed expressions replaced with a concern and awe. As the light faded, Goku Black lay on the ground, his body battered and broken. He struggled to rise, his once confident demeanor shattered. 
This is the end for you, Black. Your reign of terror is over. I will destroy you. Now, Zamasu, I'm coming for you. Goku closed his eyes, extending his senses across the universe. He could feel the faint, malevolent presence of Samasu, but it was distant and elusive. You can't hide from me forever! Goku launched himself into the sky, his omnipotent energy propelling him through the cosmos at unimaginable speeds. He traveled across galaxies, his mind focused on locating Zamasu. Goku visited numerous planets, each one showing signs of Zamasu's influence. Desolate landscapes, ruined cities, and frightened survivors told tales of the god's destructive rampage. But despite his best efforts, Zamasu remained just out of reach. On one devastated planet, Goku encountered a group of survivors. Their leader, an elderly sage, approached them. You... you seek Zamasu, don't you? Yes. Do you know where he is? <laughs> he was here, but he left before you arrived. He, is, he moves quickly, always staying one step ahead. <clears throat> I will find him. No matter where he hides, I'll bring him to justice. As Goku continued his search, he couldn't shake the feeling that Zamasu was leading him into a trap. But he didn't care. He was determined to end this once and for all. On the edge of a distant galaxy, Goku finally sensed Zamasu's presence more strongly. He descended on a desolate moon, the air thick and with tension. But when he arrived, Zamasu was nowhere to be found. The place was empty, safe from the lingering traces of his energy. T damn it! <laughs> He's always one step ahead! Despite the setback, Goku's resolve only grew stronger. You can't hide forever, Zamasu. I will find you, and I will end this! As Goku stood on the desolate moon, his omnipotent aura shimmering around him, he knew that the battle was far from over, the universe was vast, and Zamasu could be anywhere. But Goku was prepared to search every corner of it, if necessary. His new form had not only granted him incredible power, but also a profound connection to the cosmos. He could feel the hopes and fears of every living being, and he knew that they were counting on him. With a determined gaze, Gonku launched himself back into the stars. The hunt for Zamasu would continue, and he would not rest until the universe was safe from his twisted ambitions. And so, the saga of Goku, the omnipotent guardian, carried on. A beacon of hope in the vast, endless expanse of space. <laughs> SAGA! <laughs> <laughs>